Hello friends, welcome to my channel Let's Talk Embedded where we can learn various topics and technologies related to embedded systems. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how we can configure Visual Studio Code to use one of the OpenAI model to generate, refactor and explain the various programming languages. As a part of this tutorial, we will be seeing the example of C and Python program. Before going to the Visual Studio Code, we can first ask ChatGPT, uh, which is the interactive uh, chat chatting tool from the OpenAI, to generate a code for us. So let's ask uh, ChatGPT to write a C code. C program to check if given year is a leap year. Okay, it's generating the code. It started with including the uh, standard IO library header file and it's creating a, a code for us. Okay. Okay, at first look, it seems uh, it's writing uh, like syntax properly, it's uh, writing print tip scan app and some conditions and it's also printing uh, uh, the uh, the statement whether the year is uh, leap year or not uh, so looking at this uh, it seems fine with me and even it's uh, basically uh, explaining the code here so this program prompts the user to enter a year uh, then use if else statement to check if the year is leap year so it, uh, uh, a leap year is a year that is divisible by four except for end of century years which must be divisible by 400 the program uses the module operators modulus operator percent to check for these conditions and prints all the results to user okay perfectly fine so let's go to the all right let's now check with the visual studio code editor uh, I have already created one project folder called code GPT and uh, uh, there is one folder uh, dot VS code created uh, so this uh, this this project is already set up for us to run the C program or debug the C program so if you want to know how to run uh, how to use a visual studio code uh, to in order to run and debug the C programs you can check my video at the top right corner you can see the link for the video so please watch that video uh, for running the c programs in visual studio code okay uh, you can see some bunch of configurations inside dot uh, vs code uh, which are related to uh, our project settings uh, and the compiler settings for c so uh, i'm going to create one uh, blank uh, file source file uh, called test.c so this is my source file test.c it's blank for now uh, okay now uh, what we need is the the code gpt extension uh, we can install that extension that will help us to basically uh, uh, interact with the open air model and uh, access the uh, information for us uh, so that we can generate the code from this visual studio code uh, so in order to install the extension uh, go to this ribbon at the left hand side click the extension and type code gpt okay so you can see bunch of options so i want to install uh, these options the code gpt uh, so you can go ahead and install this application this is extension okay now it's got it got installed and once it installed you can go to our source file and you can right click on the source file and can see uh, there is one option added uh, in the uh, in the menu which is ask code gpt right 
you can also see this option with control uh, hitting control shift p uh, and entering the name of extension so code G gpt so uh, you can see uh, all the uh, options or the all the commands uh, that supports by this extension code gpt uh, remove key api key then set api key and ask code gpt so let's ask code gpt uh, the same question to write a c program for us okay so it's asking us to enter the api key okay so what is this api key and from where we can get this api key okay to to get the api key uh, you have uh, you have to log in into your uh, open ai account uh, and uh, you can see from the right uh, right corner top corner you can see your uh, personal details just click that and you can see the uh, the bunch of options here uh, so you have to hit the view api key uh, option uh, and you you can get this api keys uh, page where you can see whatever the keys you have generated uh, when you created and when it last used and uh, you can create the new api key also uh, now i'm going to create a new uh, secret api key here and i will copy this api key uh, i'll go back to my visual studio editor and i'll paste this api key uh, once i enter the uh, enter uh, hit the enter you can see uh, i get the pop-up api key it's saved so i'm uh, i'm uh, done with this api key configuration okay now i'm fine with the api key uh, but why this api key is required right so uh, this extension from the visual studio what we have installed basically uh, uh, use this token or this api key uh, to access the information uh, and this is linked to your account right and you note that uh, uh, this open ai uh, 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 charges us to use their uh, models so whenever we ask questions uh, uh, they can charge us like uh, the based on the the answers they provide they can charge uh, us uh, based on which model we are using and uh, uh, how many tokens we are using so these charges are very negligible for now but uh, just uh, you know, to keep in mind this uh, the open model is going to open ai model is going to charge you uh, uh, for any of the uh, uh, queries you are asking uh so initially when you uh, create a new account uh, you get the 18 dollar credit and i think that is uh, more than enough for uh, most of your initial queries and uh, exploring various models okay well, i have set up the api key for now but uh, we we have to uh, explore some options uh, uh, for the core gpt uh, extension so you can go to the code gpt uh, and there is the uh, setting uh, icon uh, or the manage icon you can click the the manage icon and uh, get the get to the extension settings menu so it will give you the uh, what are the uh, configurations available for this extension uh, so the very first option is to generate the api key or enter your api key we have already seen this uh, that process then uh, there is an open ai uh, the the uh, the platform or model we want to use uh, it's a default so there is only one option for now then uh, the max tokens uh, you can set is the, uh, the 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 number of tokens you, uh, you can request uh, for per query uh, so uh, per request so i said it is for 500 so you can uh, maybe change it uh, uh, based on your need uh, uh, for the code GPT model, uh, right now I selected uh, the test uh, DaVinci uh, 003 version, but uh, for the code, uh, uh, I'll recommend to use code DaVinci 002 version, uh, which is the uh, like more optimized uh, model for the, the code. Uh, but let's try with the text DaVinci. Uh, the language is english and uh, we have to also see uh, set the temperature 
this must be uh, from 0 to 1 so uh, if you set the temperature uh, to uh, which is closer to 0 uh, then you will probably get the more accurate answer uh, whatever the query uh, you are uh, requesting but if your uh, temperature is towards the 1 uh, then uh, you can see the more randomness to, uh, to the answer and uh, maybe it's you can say it's more creative answer it's not uh, the exact uh, to the point so I, uh, by default it's 0.3 so I do I will not touch this temperature so these are the settings uh, that we, we need to confirm uh, and then uh, ask the uh, code GPT for to write a C program Okay, it's creating uh, the program and now it's, it has created uh, so let's copy this program uh, it's created in separate window so I'll copy and paste it to my uh, source, source file test.c uh, okay it seems the uh, uh, the, the program is it's, uh, by looking at this it uh, seems uh, right program so I will uh, hit the run uh, button now the program is building uh, and once it build it will open an output window and it will ask me to enter the other year so which year I want to check so I'll uh, enter 2000 okay the 2000 is a leap year and press any key to continue if I hit enter uh, that output window will uh, be terminated so your program is not stop okay so uh, now let's uh, check uh, the explanation so you can select the program and when you select the program or the program and right click on that you can see uh, some more options generated here uh, the explain code GPT refactor document find problems unit test code so I'm not sure if all these options are working uh, but let's check uh, explain code GPT okay so it's it creates some explanation of uh, the code what the code is doing so if you don't know about the code uh, which you are looking uh, then probably this is the good option uh, to see uh, just what this code is doing so looking at this explanation it seems the uh, uh, the uh, explanation is uh, up to the mark uh, as what this program is doing but now uh, let's check some other another thing as you know uh, when you hit enter the program terminates right so what if we want to uh, keep asking the user to enter uh, the new year uh, without terminating the program so uh, for that we can ask the uh, another query so for that I will uh, uh, code GPT to uh, write a C program uh, for uh, the leap year but I'm I'm going to add some more uh, 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 request here like keep asking the user for the year until user hits the escape key so let's see uh, how it is generating the course again it's generating the code in the new fresh window okay seems the core logic is same but uh, it added some while loop uh, and it is uh, checking the some character here so let's copy this program and just replaced uh, the older program from test.c let's run this modified program it's building and it will eventually pop up the output window and asking us to enter any year so let's enter the year 2024 okay so 2024 is a leap year and you can as observe here that it's uh, asking us to enter another year so let's enter 2028 
it's it's a leap year 2030 it's not a leap year and so on so uh, you can see uh, uh, it's keep asking you for the another input so if i hit end escape what will happen okay the, the code is not working for the escape but that's fine i mean uh, we can get uh, the most of our job done with this code gpt okay so let's ask code, code gpt to uh, generate a program for the python so for that uh, what we can do is we can uh, create one folder uh, for the uh, the python project so I, I have created a blank folder and uh, i have opened that blank folder here in the uh, visual studio code so i will add uh, one file so i'll call it as the uh, test dot py so dot py is the extension for the python script okay so now uh, we can do the same thing uh, we can right click and ask code gpt so uh, here uh, we can ask the core GPT to, uh, I mean, it's the same query uh, to uh, to write a program for the leap year. But in this case, instead of C, I will just change it with the Python. And let's see what it's doing. Okay, it's generating the code. And this is the code uh, it has generated for the Python. Uh, it's uh, I mean, a lot uh, simpler or a lot smaller than the C code. So let's uh, copy this code and paste to uh, our uh, Python source file. And that's it. So uh, now we, we have to run this program, but I, I can't see the uh, run button here, right? So for that, we need to install the Python extension. So if we you don't, do not have the Python extension, probably you have to go uh, and install the Python extension. So I will use this uh, extension by the Microsoft. This is the uh, official extension for the Python. Let's install it. Uh, once it is installed, uh, we can go back to our uh, project folder and we can probably run this program. So now you can see the run button is uh, visible. So let's hit the run button okay it switched to the terminal window and uh, it's building the program and you can see uh, the prompt the enter the year so we can do the similar exercise here by running uh, entering the, uh, the year so 2022 is not a leap year okay. thank you for watching and these are some of my takeaways uh, visual studio code editor can be configured to generate a code with core gpt extensions this is the wonderful extension i like it uh, generate code uh, it not only generates the code but it, it could explain the code it refactors the code itself you can try it uh, with various ways you can also change the temperature you can change the model uh, from the di diamond sheet text uh, to the code and you can see uh, how accurate it generates the code uh, it says that it finds a problem and it, it creates a document or needed testing, but I haven't explored this much, but uh, we can explore this uh, in future. For small piece of code, uh, I believe this is a good alternative, but I'm not very much sure about the uh, how it functions with the complex code or the complex set of requirements, right? So I, I still do see there's some expertise required in order to understand the code and in order to integrate the code into your bigger projects so it's not going to uh, replace all your expertise right so you still need some coding experience for this and last but not least it's not the free so uh, openai is charging you for uh, all, uh, the queries you make and the tokens it is generated for you so you need to use it diligently if you like this video, please hit like button and do provide any suggestions or let me know if any questions. You can write comments in comment section. Subscribe to my channel for future videos and interesting topics. And don't forget to enable notification by clicking bell icon. Thank you.